getting ready for game number three today. Indiana against St. Mary's in the East region. We were in Portland after the game. Whether it was a win or a loss, I was going to have to leave. I'm 18. I'm about to have a daughter, and like I'm still playing in college. I didn't sleep. I left at 5 for Kansas City. March 20th, she was born. After that, like it was like, like a flip switch. You really have a bigger why. Immediately after the birth, Tamar was so excited. It was just another proud moment because it was something that wasn't expected, but he did so well with handling the unexpected. She's just a great baby. It's kind of like she understands the situation too. Like, you know what, I'm not going to go too crazy. They, they do what I'm asking for, and I'm going to chill, and I'm going to just laugh and have a good time. It wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't the end of the world for us. We had first child at 19. We said our son will be fine. I look at life as us moving across this tightrope and those of us who have a net of people to help propel us back have the better chances for success. And so I've always been very intentional about making sure that our babies have a network around them. Everybody knows all hands on deck when it comes to the baby. So that's from, uh, from grandma and grandpa to auntie and uncle to great uncle. He's excited about being able to show his ability to be a father better than his dad was. It's exactly what we hope for our children is that they exceed all that their parents were able to do. It's easy to separate being an athlete, being a student, being a father. My parents, they went through it before. So now we're really gonna execute it. Second time around, we can do it better. my freshman year. Definitely a lot of ups and downs. As Soon as the season was over and Leilani was born, I'm like, I really don't have no time to feel bad for myself because don't nobody else feel bad for me. I got a daughter that I got to provide for in a season that's staring me right in the face. It was just all about the work from there on in. I gained about 15 pounds over the off season and the game slowed down a little bit for me. Nobody anticipated X and race going down this season, so always being ready to play and execute for the team. When it's time to go play, there isn't any doubt that myself and the team will be ready. Since Tamar was a baby, him and his siblings could always turn and look and see somebody that he is familiar with, namely his parents, in the stands. I think it brings a level of peace and calm, especially knowing that when Leilani gets a chance to see him, he understands the gravity of, I'm doing this for more than just me. Now they flip it out to Hauser for a 17-foot jump shot. He missed, and Tamar Bates has got the rebound. I'll let the Trace Jackson Davis slam the home. I don't really have to worry or stress about anything as a student, as an athlete, as a father, because I know when I'm not with her, when I'm away, she's taken care of. I literally have an army behind me. My sisters. They've completely exceeded my expectations as aunties. We got the crawl competition. We're winning, okay? We've been practicing. She's been crawling in the hallways. We're like, okay, yeah. Layla, it's time to practice. Let's go. And so she'll be, get, she's getting way faster. You know? She's so fast. She's gonna, she's really she's gonna fast. Move. Listen, <laughs> listen, Layla. We train you for this. You know what to do. You got it. Baby number five, Leilani Banks. Big
side he goes. Now to Galloway. They dump it in. They tried to dump it into Trace. Bates fires a long three and he hits. Bates, 17 points. Indiana comes up with a huge win here this afternoon. 82-69. The Hoosiers win it over the Michigan State Spartans. Tomorrow, real quick, did you see what Leilani did at halftime? I did see that she uh, took the dub. Uh, <laughs> comeback win. And it was really just because she was ready to get picked up. I think she was crying the whole time, but we'll, we'll take it. First competition ever, so she's undefeated.